Okay, guys. Back again. This is the five gallon bucket air conditioner system that we've uh, kind of been looking at. It is finished, it works. I'm going to show you. Alright, I got my pipes all in. Got my liner in there. See how they're, everything's spliced in good. Okay, I did leave this piece of hose, or hose, I mean rope on here from this uh, little in, uh, liner cooler because that way I can pull it in and out if I need to for maintenance. Okay, got a gallon jug of ice. We've got our lid, got the hole cut out in the dimensions of the fan, which just happens to be just the right size as a child's plate. So I kind of use that as a perfect round circle as my template. And then I went around it and cut it out with an you know, exacto knife marker. Anyways, okay, here we go. We're going to run it for you now and let you see. Okay. Five gallons. I mean, one gallon of ice. Sorry. One lid. Doesn't have to be on there super good. And one cheapo $5 fan, desk fan from a uh, local thrift store. Now I suggest if you're going to do this, guys, and you need if you need to do something like this, you don't have an air conditioner, you need something extra to help, spend a 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and buy a decent fan. All right, this thing just doesn't have quite the power. All right, I'm going to put it on high. Okay. I'm just going to place it down, cover the hole. You know, by all means, this thing will move a little bit, so it's gonna have to be kind of, it'll have to be uh, kind of tied down. But all right, here we go. So this thing works. No, it's not gonna put out 20,000 BTUs, but it will definitely help cool you down in a in a small enclosed environment. I cut these holes at an inch and a half with a hole saw. Okay, and then I cut my inside circles for the uh, styrofoam just a little bit shy of that, probably a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. And then I shaved it down just so it would be uh, tight for these PVC pieces to fit in there. I mean, they, they're snug; they're not going anywhere. That's airtight seal, but it works. So I hope you guys enjoy get bored give it a shot sometime I mean there's enough room inside here still you could dump almost well let's see you know it's pretty wide in there let me put my hand down in there as you can see I mean you got a lot of clearance still in there I mean if you wanted to you could put another half a bag of ice I mean the only drawback to this thing is that you have to keep a source of ice going and I haven't timed it yet to see what a gallon lasts. And it's hard to say what it would last on a really hot, humid day. But, give you an idea. So if you're going to do something like this, make sure you have extra ice in the freezer to replace what's in there. Have two to three gallons at a time. That way you've got two of them, one or two that are freezing and frozen, and you got the one that you can use. That way you got backups. Alright? Maybe some extra ice, whatever. You just, your drawback is you got to keep ice in it. Anyhow, hope you liked the vid. And uh, maybe learn something. Any questions? You guys know how to find me. Have a good one.